Okay, this is phase one of the uh, pond repair project. I've drained the uh, lower part of the pond and I moved my fish up to the low upper pond, which I have a waterfall. And of course, you got to keep the uh, oxygen in the water, so we've uh, added a uh, little filter, and uh, so it has a little bit of a uh, bubbly action going on there. And the fish cannot go over the waterfall now. So I'm about to remove all the rocks from the uh, lower. Uh, Water uh, lower basin here, and then I will start my repair with the uh, the uh, EPDM uh, liquid rubber uh, mixture that I bought online, and uh, more to follow. Okay, this is uh, phase two of the uh, new construction. I mean, uh, repair of the pond actually. Um, as you saw in um, the first uh, video, we were preparing to. Um, you know, drain the pond and get the uh, uh, liner ready to put the uh, EPDM uh, rubber um, uh, liquid onto the liner. As you can see, the previous uh, person who did the pond installation, <laughs> which was me, <laughs> tried to use a lot of uh, silicon caulk, and then you can see it's all white there. It just didn't work. So now we're going to do it correctly. I'm going to remove all that uh, white uh, caulk that you see there, and I'm going to go ahead and with the repair. So. Uh, uh, let's hope it works out here. All right, guys, this is uh, phase three of the pond repair. Uh, the first phase, of course, I drained the water, removed the rocks. Um, the second phase was uh, the second video um, where I um, actually cleaned the liner and prepared the, uh, the area again. And this third video now is showing you the uh, the Pond Pro um, material that I've spread on the seams were, that were really nasty looking before. And uh, I did this under realistic conditions. Um, I, I cleaned it the best I could, but it was an existing pond. So I, I, we're going to see if this stuff actually adheres after, um, you know, once it dries and cures for seven days. I'm going to fill the water up. I think it's going to take really well. but. Uh, I didn't have it great, you know, exactly uh, clean as a new liner would be. I had it as good as I could, and you can see some of the uh, the existing liner. Okay, this is phase four of the uh, uh, pond um, repair project that I had. You saw the first three videos and uh, using the Pond Pro uh, liquid rubber and. Um, it took me a while to get to this stage because the weather didn't cooperate. It was hard to get seven days for the rubber to cure without raining. But uh, we managed to do it. And uh, as um, demonstrated before, I had a lot of patches and I created that boot. I used the uh, Pond Pro uh, liquid rubber and only one application. I didn't use the second can. Um, I took a chance. And even under not ideal situations, it, it worked. The pond has uh, not leaked. Uh, it's been two days since I actually added water. You can see the fish are in there. I do have my uh, the uh, waterfall feature. I have fish up the top of, uh, to the top as well. So I'm very happy with the product. It's worked very well. I'll just come down and let you see this shot here. So the uh, um, I couldn't be happier with it, and, and I know the fish are happy with it as well. So, a uh, great product, it works well, and uh, I would highly recommend if you have a leak in your pond to uh, try this instead of replacing the liner. So, thanks guys. Great product. Out here.